Kristen Eller is a graduate student in chemical and biological engineering at the University of Colorado Boulder. She's part of a team that's trying to re-energize antibiotic drugs that are used to treat a variety of infections and diseases. It's a problem of massive scale. CU Boulder's Prashant Nagpal is referring to antibiotic resistance, which the U.S. Centers for Disease Control termed a serious health threat several years ago. The CDC says at least two million people in the U.S. become infected with bacteria that are resistant to antibiotics each year, and at least 23,000 die as a direct result of those infections, and it's a global problem. In this race, we are actually losing pretty badly. We are in a post-antibiotic era where we don't have antibiotics. Working with Nagpal, Anushree Chatterjee has developed a smart antibiotic that relies on tiny light-activated nanoparticles, also known as quantum dots, which release superoxide, a chemical that interferes with a bacteria's metabolic and cellular processes. It is designed in a way in which we are targeting a central process, and that makes it difficult for the bug to evolve resistance to it. The moment we sort of trigger them with light, or any other external stimulus, then they would start doing their work. Researchers say quantum dots have been shown to massively reduce the antibiotic resistance of infections without adverse side effects. There's hope that antibiotics that have stopped working can be empowered once again. Our initial tests have been amazing. I mean, it's, it's proven effective way beyond what we could have imagined when we started this project. The scientists say this quantum dot technology can be easily modified to kill not just the superbugs of today, but the ones that surface tomorrow. What's going to be the next outbreak? What's going to be the next Ebola or, you know, the next antibiotic resistant superbugs? How we will counter that? So time is of the essence. Resistance is spreading. And I think, um, you know, viable technologies should be pushed forward as quickly as possible. Clinical tests, first on animals, then on humans, will be needed first. And that depends on funding. Nagpal and Chatterjee argue it's money well spent because they say disease is winning the race with antibiotics at the moment and patients are suffering as a result. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.